My name is Paresh and you are watching Tech Dynamics. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon so that you get notifications of my upcoming videos. Well, in this particular video series, we are going to discuss about how you can manage security in Dynamics 365. Now, security in any application, as you can imagine, is a very important feature because it gives you a control on who can access what areas of the application and what operations they can perform. So it's a very important uh, feature in Dynamics 365. And of course, we are going to discuss how you can manage the security settings in Dynamics 365. In this video, however, we are going to give you an overview of what the security model is all about in Dynamics 365. So keep watching and stay tuned. All right, so let us discuss um, some of the bullet points about security model in Dynamics 365. Number one, security model allows you to manage what users inside Dynamics 365 can do and can have access to. So for example, you do not want all the users to have access to all the applications. Rather, based on their roles and responsibilities, you users should be able to access the application areas and perform the actions as per their role. Now, with this, an organization can maintain integrity of the system and can give access to only those areas which are relevant for the user. And also, it helps the user to only focus on the work that they need to do and not get overwhelmed with information. Second is that in business, information must be shared as per roles. So security roles are important to avoid any unauthorized access. For example, you do not, uh, you would not like to uh, have a user from service department to look into the sales or financial information or class cash flow information of a company. The job of the service department is to provide service to the customers. So that's what they are supposed to look at. Third, security is structured with the help of business units and teams. Now, fourth is user security is managed using security roles. Now, every user is assigned one or more security roles based on their jobs and responsibilities and they can perform only those actions which are in their security role. And fifth, if there is no security role assigned to a user, then the user will not be able to access Dynamics 365 application. So at least one security role has to be assigned to the user for them to be able to access Dynamics 365. I think this gives you an understanding of how the security model is available in Dynamics 365. Now, let us see what is actually controlled by the security model in Dynamics 365. You can control access to application components such as forms, views, dashboards, etc. In other words, it, is, it also controls the access to the entities. You can also control access to the records. For example, a user is allowed to see only their records and not the records of their team members. And you can also control access to features such as customization, mobile access, print, etc. There are many features available which we'll discuss in upcoming videos and you can control access to those. Now, on your um, right hand side, you will see a screenshot. This is just for an example over here of a security role uh, configuration for CSR manager. And on the left hand side of the screenshot, you will find all the entities. Of uh, there, which are the core records. On the right hand side um, are the operations that user can perform and at what level. Of course, we are going to discuss in detail how to configure security uh, roles and how you can use them in upcoming videos. For now, this is it for this video. Enjoy. 